Hey guys, welcome back. The fly we're going to be tying today is a rock caddis. Um, you can use this to imitate the larva stage of your caddis fly. Um, we're going to start here by tying on our thread. We'll go down to the bend of the hook. And it's a real simple, real easy fly to tie, guys. Um, so take the time and, and uh, get this one in your fly box. It's a good fly to start out on for beginner tires and things like that. Uh, but we'll kind of dress the whole hook with our, our thread here. And then uh, here in the back we're going to get our red vinyl rib. And you can use uh, a couple different colors. Um, the other colors I've used are kind of a, a light olive. Um, kind of just a clear transparent different colors and things like that. But we're just going to tie it on. We want to try and get as little excess as we can after we tie on. So our body's not going to be uh, slightly bigger down at the bottom, but once we get that tied on here, we're going to move to the the front of the hook. <clears throat> and then I like to kind of build up the body a little bit so it's even, um, so it's an even diameter all the way around. I can get this bead up there. There we go. Just do a half hitch here. I like to do a half hitch uh, when I'm use the rotary feature on my vise. Just make sure my thread doesn't unravel or anything. So we'll do that. We'll grab our our vinyl rib here, and we're just gonna basically just wrap the body. Um, pull fairly tight here at the end, and then you can slowly loosen it a little bit so it'll get a little bit bigger as we get closer to the eye of the hook. And we're just gonna do nice even spacing, nice even wraps. And you can kind of see um, the thread through the, the vinyl rib. And that's that's why you, whatever material you decide to wrap with, it needs to be somewhat transparent. Because um, we want to be able to see through the rib and see a body inside that uh, gives us a more realistic look uh, to, to any, any kind of our larva fly patterns here. But once we get that up, we'll tie it off and cut off our excess here. maybe and the hook I'm, I'm using it's a size 20 and so as you might imagine it's fairly difficult to get uh, big fat fingers like mine and scissors and things like that where it's supposed to be but um, after we get that trimmed off we're just going to do one strand of peacock curl Maybe we'll get it on there. There we go. Same thing on these smaller flies. It really makes it difficult to to get material tied on and, and to get it close. But uh, once we get that tied on, we're going to essentially just kind of wrap it around and give ourselves a nice buggy looking thorax. And I just do a couple wraps so it looks nice and thick. Um, hides the gap between the the vinyl rib and our, our bead up front. Once we get that, we'll tie it off, and that's your rock caddis. There's not much to it, um, but it is a good little fly, and like I said, it's a good fly to practice on. Um, you've got a couple different techniques that you're that you're doing. You're you're really having to uh, learn to be delicate with these with these small hooks and these small materials. Um, gives you an opportunity to work with your peacock curl and, and realize just how fragile fragile it is. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good fly to, to start out with. Um, there's definitely more complex flies, and, and this is a good one to, to start out. But we'll do our, uh, our whip finish there, and I like to glue them all kind of at the end. I'll tie a bunch of these, maybe a half dozen or so, I just kind of glue them all at the end. But that's what your rock caddis looks like there. Here's a list of materials you guys are going to need. Uh, remember, at the website, liprippin.com, you can go ahead and you can get all these materials ordered. We can ship them out to you. So... Go ahead and uh, give this fly a try. Visit us at the website. Let us know uh, if there's any other fly patterns or, or life cycles or anything like that you'd like to see. All right, good luck tying, guys.